Um, hello? It is me holding my fake tea. Um, I'm back. Maybe it doesn't feel like I ever left for a lot of you because my videos are so intermittent, but I'm indeed here. There's honestly so much to catch you guys up on. I feel like that almost deserves its own video. Not that the world needs another life update from a YouTuber video right now, but as I reevaluate what, what my platform is for, why I do this, the purpose of what I share with you all on the internet. I think what I look for in creators and the creators I feel the most connected to are the ones that are the most vulnerable and like just lay it all out on the line. And I don't think that my work within my life series has done the best job of allowing me to do that because I do feel a certain amount of like, I come into it and I feel like I have to packaged together that I'm like doing a good job at my job and I'm like a productive employee and like just highly functioning all the time when it's just not the way it goes down like it's just hard right now I'm getting into it minute three of the video minute two who even knows and just saying that like I am very burnt out right now and that's kind of why it's literally taking me courage to build up to even film this because I'm just so burnt out. I've been working like 60, 65 hour work weeks for the past like eight or nine weeks. It's not sustainable to push yourself that hard. And at a certain point, I don't even feel like I'm pushing myself anymore. It feels like that's the pace that's set in front of me and that I have to play catch up every week to like keep up with this pace that feels astronomically fast or like just too much for what I can physically take right now and I feel like a failure even saying that like I feel like if a future employer are watching this right now I would worry that they would think of me as like a less desirable employee or like a subpar employee when really I would question if someone has never felt those feelings if someone's never felt like they've hit their wall or hit a slump or felt extended periods of burnout like this is a part of a career and I think I've fought against it for so long and just tried to convince myself that like I'm super happy all the time and it's fine. One positive thing I'll open the video with is that I did get a promotion so I did get a title bump and a raise. I'm doing the same role that I have been in so I'm still in sales and I'm still, my, my role is really an inside sales rep is like what you'd call it, if that means anything to you. But I just got a senior title in front of it, which is something that I have had as a goal for like a year. So to finally reach it during COVID when everything was looking like it might not happen for me, it was a sense of relief. And like relief, guys? is a feeling that is like more elusive than ever for me these days. It feels like even when I'm not working, I can't shut my brain off. Not even in a work context, just like relief in general from these feelings of just like, uh, dread? Do I say dread? Is that too dark for the very beginning of this video? I don't know, but like, I just want to be super vulnerable about like where I'm coming from. And maybe this is like a, Oh my god. I just pressed a button on this mug and something spun inside of it. There's literally like a little pill. Look at this. This is a good analogy of what my mind looks like half the time. I am convinced this is like some sort of Pandora's box so I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, I have a feeling it, it has to do with coffee or some a beverage that I do not consume but like what? Okay. I just woke up to find that the power is McFreaking out today, which does feel like the universe's way of telling me that I need to slow down and rest. Really. The rest of my family actually just went to our church, which still has power. Um, and they're gonna work from there. These are the fun trials and tribulations of work from home life. We are really just learning so much against our will at this point during quarantine. Like things get shaken up every single day and it's like, it's both like really monotonous and also really 
like unsettling and disconcerting to wake up every single day and never know what's going to happen. Like, I just never really have a strong sense of routine and if I give you that impression and you perceive me to be someone with a strong sense of routine, no, it's it's just not happening. Um, foundationally, the one very easy thing that I do for myself is to take my vitamins in the morning. So Ritual sent me their essential multivitamin for women and I have been taking it every single day for about two weeks now. You take two and you can take them on an empty stomach, which is great because some mornings I have no appetite and I just feel like I cannot eat and some mornings I wake up ravenous. Like I never know how I'm gonna feel in the morning. So it's nice that you can take these without food. It's just nice to have the peace of mind that if nothing else, at least my body is getting the essentials that it needs every single day. It's such a small, easy step that I have no excuses to skip it every single day. I'm also vegetarian. I know I have low iron levels. Like there are certain gaps in my diet that I know I have, but I'm not like well-researched or in tune enough to know every single one of those. So these just cover you from a foundational level. They're vegan, allergen-free. They're obsessively researched and backed by evidence and they're transparently sourced. So like you don't have to question the integrity of the vitamin. It's literally a dollar a day. And for the first three months, you get 10% off. If you use the code Catherout at checkout at ritual.com slash Catherout. They are the sponsor of today's video. Um, it's nine nutrients in one. So when they say multivitamin, they mean it. And now let's go to my family's makeshift office for the day, which is like the first time I've ever not worked out of a home in the past four months. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm literally bringing a freaking fan with me. <laughs> I can't. All right, let's go. I ever think I would be showing you guys my church in a work week in my life video like what is happening I do want to just address that my church is closed it has been closed for months it's been virtual um, my dad came over here and talked to the office manager and he completely cleared it no one has been in this room in five months It is not being used it's been locked I'm going to wipe everything down when I leave. So like from a COVID standpoint, I have not interacted with anybody here. I am isolated. It is literally just an office and it's very hot. Is it so wrong to wanna live in a world where I want to be given the day off because I don't have power and not feel like capitalism is driving me to literally scramble around to try to find Wi-Fi and electricity in order to get my job done? Like. Is it that important that I'm online every single day of my life, like contributing to the economy? Like I just, these are questions that swirl around in my head all day long, um, just to open you up to, to some of that critical thinking. It's like, I would love to live in like France or someplace where their work week, it's not so normalized to have like hustle grind culture where you just like go until you can't anymore. My dad just texted me that the power is back on at home, so I'm going to go back there, enjoy the air conditioning, and try my damnedest to not think about work and just completely go offline. Let's pack it up. Also, yes, this room 100% looks like a therapist's office, which to be honest, the way my church works, it's probably closer to therapy than it is Christianity, and that's a whole other conversation to talk about, but... Um, if I had time in my life to host a podcast, these are things I would maybe explore, but I'm overwhelmed that I don't. <laughs> it's Wednesday, my dudes. I'm eating mac and cheese from a seated position before 
my therapy appointment. I don't think I've ever vlogged work week in my life where I had therapy that week or at least I didn't talk about it. We've been doing it virtual, which is fine. I really prefer being in person. The conversations are just so different now. Like when I first started going, it was very much like one-off issues. Like I would get in a fight with my mom and I would talk about it. I would get in a fight with my sister and talk about it. Or like some health issue that had popped up that week um, and then went away. Like everything was very much like one-off one time. And so we'd address it in the session and she would validate me and we'd process it and talk about how I reacted. And like every time it was a sense of relief and I'd walk away from it being like, wow, like loved that therapy session. It was so helpful to like process that event. But now there's not like one event. It's like a ton of events. Like they're all just coagulating together. Before it was just like absolute, like there was, it was like an absolutist thing. Like absolutely therapy helps me, no ifs, ands, or buts. And now it's like, Honestly, there's some days where I come out of the therapy appointment and I'm like, I feel just as confused and like flustered and overwhelmed as I did when I went in. So for, for the therapy viewers out there, like let me know if that's normal and I'm just going through the cycle of therapy or like if I really need to consider switching things up because um, I'm not opposed. But yeah, yeah. I need to go run an errand on my calendar. It now says that it is time in my day to chill out and go to Cost Plus. <laughs> yes, I quite literally have to direct myself to chill out. Um, we don't need to talk about it. See you in the car. That was the easiest messed up experience. Um, they had online, buy online, pick up in store, which we just hear on all the commercials now. And I spontaneously last night ordered two throw pillows. Usually I waffle a ton on my inset, like um, my decor, but lately I've just been pulling the trigger left and right. Just like these were literally ten dollars each from Cost Plus. I'm like. Catherine, you'd be stupid not to just buy these and try them out, and if you hate them, you can return them. But Lord knows I just need to create a calming, soothing environment in my room, and I think some deep green pillows will do the trick, so. Sneak peek of my upcoming video. Ooh, look, wow, oh my God, incredible. It's been real, it's been fun. Can't say this vlog has been real fun for you to watch. I think it's brightened my mood to film it. I, I was concerned that I would just be dragging you all into my vortex, but um, I try to make content that scratches my own itch, and lately I've been wanting to watch people that just aren't chasing positivity all the time. As sad as I was to say. Thanks for coming on this ride with me. If you stumbled across this video and are somehow still watching, I commend Either your, either your effort to watch or your apathy towards clicking away from the video and I would encourage you to subscribe if you have the willpower to do so. If not, like truly no worries. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and don't let anyone boss you around right now because the only thing we should be focusing on is just rest right now. That's what I'm gonna leave you on. If you're on YouTube, that's a form of resting, so you're already on the right track. All right, love you all. See you next time. Catherine out. Just saw a Spirit Halloween store as I was driving. Good luck, bitch. Good, Good luck to that man. <laughs>